Tonight's project is going to be replacing the thermostat in a 2008 Ford Focus. Upon opening the box, this is what you're going to find, an entire thermostat housing plus the thermostat. Um, it's kind of a pain to get to. This is the one that I removed from the car. It sits in there like this, and it actually sits underneath the intake and right above the um, air conditioning compressor. So I'm not going to be able to show you a whole lot in this video other than where it's located and how I managed to get it out, but hopefully that's at least helpful because I tell you what, it was not much fun. As with most modern vehicles, you're going to find it has the spring type kind of hose clamps on there. And I was able to do this job with this assortment of pliers here. I don't have the correct pliers for these. They make special pairs for them. They're $20 to $30 a piece depending on which style you buy. There's you know a couple different styles, straight, angled, um, a remote reach kind. They're very nice and honestly, it was nearly impossible to do this without them. Um, but like I said, I did use these. It was nice to have this kind of 90 degree thing here. I could reach around things. Um, it's possible to do without, but um, if this isn't a dire need right now, I would say go on Amazon and buy yourself a set or two, maybe a couple different styles, and it will make your life much easier. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So the first step after you get it up on ramps is going to be to remove the big plastic splash shield that goes along here. I've already got it yanked off and it's sitting over there. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is remove the cooling fan, which has got one big plug right here in the bottom of it, just this one big connector. And then there's going to be two bolts in the bottom left corner and then one over here in the bottom right corner. Those two tabs each will have a bolt and then you're just going to pull back on the cooling fan assembly and the whole thing should drop straight down out of there. Pull it back and the whole thing is going to come well, if it doesn't get hung off. And you will have the benefit of having both hands because you won't be holding a camera. Uh, looks like it just needs a good tug. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to set you down so I don't ruin something. Oh, it's caught right here on the uh, one of those cooler lines. They're either AC lines or cooler lines for the training, one of the two. There we go. Glad I didn't want to, glad I didn't just rip on that. So after the cooling fan and the splash shield are out, you can see there's quite a bit more room between the uh, radiator and the motor. And I still hardly can't even show you guys on camera here, but this is the lower radiator hose. And it runs up over top of the air compressor here, the AC compressor. And where it terminates, up here at the top, is where your thermostat housing is. Up on top of the compressor. Ford really did a number on this one, guys, and it's buried up in here. So here it is, somewhat removed from the car. I doubt this is the correct way to do it, but... I uh, took the three bolts out and I just grabbed the lower radiator hose and essentially just kind of yanked it out. I'll tell you what, it was really no fun to get it down here. There's two hoses that come off of it. I took this small one off um, from the top side and I could not get to this hose clamp. It was up here. So I'm going to try and stick the camera down from the top now and show you where this thing lives, if I can fit it in there. And uh, hopefully I can get some more video of it going back in, but I tell you what, it is hard to just try and even show what I'm doing here. Okay, so I finally found a spot to show you. If you go through this one hole in the intake right here, you can see those two bolt heads. Well, now they're blurry. There you go. Those two bolt heads. And there's a third one, which I don't think you can see, over on the left side of this intake runner. There's a third bolt head down here. I tightened it completely from the top side down under the intake runner right here. There is enough room you can get your hand in there. I don't think the camera's can. Uh... Nope, the camera doesn't fit in there. But like I said, man, it is just a pain to even see what the heck you're doing on this car. But there it is. The thermostat housing lives under here. 
Then I'm gonna have to bring my hose back up. You can see my upper, or I mean my lower radiator hose. All right? Yeah, my lower radiator hose. I'll have to bring that back up here, get it plugged on, and then this hose as well goes back down in there. All right, guys, like I said, sorry I didn't show much of the uh, actual process. It is a pain to show. Hopefully this was helpful in some way or another, and um, thanks for watching. If you're still here, please comment, rate, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you then. Thanks.